Hello, hello. John here with another first look from the Nintendo Dads. And this first look is, I don't know, maybe two years in the waiting. Uh, this first look is uh, Double Kick Heroes. So I, I, I've been waiting for this game for, I think it's been two years. I think since it got announced for the Switch. It just kept getting put off and, well, it, it finally arrived last Friday on the 13th. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> uh, this game is developed by Headbang Club and published by Plugin Digital. Uh, this is a uh, action rhythm game where you're in a zombie apocalypse and you're a band that shoots zombies as the uh, music goes across the bottom of the screen. So. I think this game is this was twenty one ninety nine if I remember right, and uh, this is one that I purchased for myself. This is, I've been waiting for it, but uh, promised a first look a while back. So let's get into it. I've already played a little bit, so I'm going to start on a different profile so I can go through the tutorial and everything with you guys. Oh. And also, it's a uh, it's metal music. I didn't mention that. So <clears throat> there is a few options. You can play the arcade, which is the story mode, or you are sorry. You can play the arcade, which is a, a mode where you can play any track that you've unlocked during the story mode. Which it kind of gives you a little bit of a description. And then, let's see, Hellgate says, let's beat up zombies using your guest's music, or our guest's music. So I think that's a few music selections from bands that aren't featured in the story mode. And then Fury Road is, let's try some new, try something new using the Devil Kick Heroes basics. Awesome. Well, we're going to go through a little bit of the story mode this morning. Um, now I do know that this game has two modes of play. One is the standard controller. The other is a really weird set of motion controls that allows you to use two Joy-Cons in hand and then tuck two Joy-Cons into your socks. <laughs> Strange as that sounds, uh, you can do it and play with four Joy-Con in this game. Uh, I have not done that and I don't I don't plan on putting my Joy-Cons in my socks so um, we're we're just gonna play with the, the controller today so let's go ahead and start up this uh, well, I guess we can look at the options I kind of skipped over that so you have some general options which is just language and dialogue speed uh, you got some sound which looks like you got quite a bit of adjustment for sound gameplay. Uh, you can change the difficulty, uh, instrument feedback. Oh, uh, you can also change from auto steering to manual steering where you, you steer up and down on the screen to try to aim where you want to fire at the zombies at. Um, I don't know it. Well, let's see what chill mode is. Oh, no monsters, no worries. So yeah, you can, you can play a mode where you just uh, try to Get the song correct. Uh, no overheat mode removes the overheat for more mindless fun. Yeah, so after a while, if, if you use the same weapon or the same uh, button press for your uh, rhythm, uh, it'll overheat your weapon over time and, and it's not as effective. Uh, it looks like you can add a metronome to the screen to try to keep you on beat. Uh, I haven't played with that either. So these are the options. Uh, here's the control options. Uh, so let's see button based, trigger based, motion controls. Uh, that's the stomp only is for the feet, <laughs> beat only. And then you can do double to do hands and feet. 
or you could do a custom layout of maybe both or either I'm not sure graphics uh, screen shake turn that off or on and the flashing so with that said let's start up the story mode and we're gonna play on medium this game has a very harsh ramp up in, in difficulty I think I made it to the third or fourth song getting perfects on everything and 100% in the, the level and I think it was the, the maybe the fifth song that I did I, uh, I, I could start feeling it <laughs> I could press the buttons fast enough I think I only got 80% or, or 90% so yeah, there is definitely a little, little bit of ramp up to difficulty pretty quick. And they have like a little introduction to the, the characters here. This this game sees you fighting zombies and. Weird buzzards. I've seen some undead looking buzzards. Uh, some sharks. <laughs> Just has a, it has a random bunch of enemies that you end up fighting. Here's the guys trying to get to the, uh, to the car. Overall, the, the story is pretty light, but it's it's funny. It's enjoyable. The the real treat here is just the music. If you're a fan of metal music, you'll be you'll fit right in with this game. I heard some complaints on reviews that they couldn't get into the music, but uh, I thought the music was great. So here we are, uh, the lower probably fifth of the screen. Oh, what? Okay, apparently, uh, apparently you get a crash. Let's try one more time. Anyway, what I was saying is lower fifth of the screen ish plays the, uh, the music across the bottom where you select the, uh, button you want to hit on the beat. And, uh, I mean, it's just like any other rhythm game. It just gives you a little marker and then you, you hit the button when it's time. Alright. Uh, so, we'll just hit continue. <laughs> even though we we didn't even start the... Uh, maybe it's gonna say we did we finished. Oh no, here, tutorial. Okay. So, yeah. So, B is the lower gun. So any zombies that are on the lower portion of the road, you want to use B to, to shoot at. I'll show you. B, B. And then A is the upper gun. So any zombies that are tracking the top part of the road are, are you want to hit A to shoot. And after a while it gets pretty hectic. Probably won't see any of that on this screen, or for this uh, first look, I, I probably won't play that much since I've already played these levels, but just to give you guys a good look. And this game would be for me would be almost impossible to stream because your whole focus is on the bottom portion of that screen. So if anybody was uh, chatting with you, you wouldn't be able to even read it. <laughs> so there's the tutorial, pretty basic. But it gives you the idea. 
Oh, let's see. Title, Planet Terror. Genre, Harmless Rock and Roll. So here's how you get your little bit of story in between. Those guys, I hate to say this, but we're running out of gas. Sheila's thirsty. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'll blow them away with my sound. How many times do I have to tell you that won't work? Only Sheila and her guns can do that. Yeah, and it wasn't a bad idea to leak the guns to the double kick. Um, but I would just pass a tanker truck. Think you could have mentioned that sooner? Yeah, so this is normal. Everyone's arguing. They need gas. It's post apocalyptic all over again. I charge my controller. That's the one bad thing about the Switch Pro controller is that the battery lasts so long that I forget to put it back on the charger when I'm done. Oops, I missed one. <clears throat> Kind of starting to wonder if I didn't accidentally select the chill mode <laughs> or, or something because I don't see any zombies. I'll have to go back and look before we play the next one. Because uh, I this is not as fun. I, I want to see some zombie action. Yeah, we'll go take a look and see what happened there. Story, yeah, chill mode got activated somehow. Hold on. Yeah, it smells like booze, party time. He's right, it's definitely alcohol. This is what I love about the end times. You never know what you're going to find. Sorry, dudes, I can't partake. I'm still underage. This is on the apocalypse and you're afraid mommy won't approve, that's adorable. Hey, leave my mom out of this. Seriously. Snake, come with me. I'll make you a real man. Oh, come on, Beardy. What do you even mean by real man? Stop horsing around and let's find a gas station. Derek, fill a jerry can full of bourbon. Snake, drink or don't. It's your choice. We don't need to find shelter for the night. Or we do need to find shelter for the night. Alright, let's see if I can... Uh, yeah, I must have turned chill mode on when we were looking at the options. Alright. We'll do another track with the zombies on and give you guys a look at that. <laughs> Come on, Sheila, just a bit farther. Turn here, I'm pretty sure there's a gas station nearby. Wow, I didn't even know you were conscious. Looked like you were hibernating. Derek, are you sure this is the way? It's our last chance. I think straight ahead is more bumpkins anyway. Alright. Oh, yes. And as you get uh, more continuous uh, connections with the beat, 
uh, you your your weapon upgrades, and you'll go from a pistol to a shotgun, shotgun to a, like a cannon, just depending on how well you do, it upgrades. So we just got the shotgun. Which shoots multiple rounds out. Like a shotgun should. I do enjoy the pixel art. It's got a really good look to it. And then at the end, they'll clean up the rest. <laughs> so yeah, I missed uh, missed one there in the middle. It happens. But yeah, this is a uh, it, it's a little basic, but uh, the music's good. The uh, the scenery and the graphics are spot on. I I think they did a good job with that. Um. I plan on playing this one through and unlocking all the the tracks. Uh, I kind of I picked this up at the same time that my copy of Cat Quest Two finally came in, so I've been trying to alternate a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is Double Kick Heroes. Uh, if this looks like something you guys like, or if, if you're really into rhythm games, uh, even if metal is not your favorite genre, it, it's it's pretty good I think you guys would enjoy it uh, I don't know what else to say about it I've been waiting for it for a long time so I'm excited to have it uh, but yeah go buy it it's good this has been another uh, first look for the Nintendo dads hope you guys had fun and sorry about the uh, complications I haven't had this game auto exit out on me since I've been playing of course it, it always happens when you're recording but yeah here we go go play it see you guys later